got a helicopter flying over us. Oh man, it is windy today. We've had so much rain. It literally rained a whole night last night. Chicken tractor, this is where they were. This is where they started, where they just were this morning, and now we move them on further. So this is kind of what we're doing. We set up this lane and we're just moving them across so they're not totally breaking down the ground like they did in the garden. I don't want that here. This is the pasture. So this is just kind of them, them getting grass and fertilizing. But look at how good that looks. That, that looked like this. And now it's coming back as this. So we're kind of moving them every three to four days. And it's working. It's working. It's doing good. Inside the chicken tractor, they got both their feed pans, and they are happy as can be. Oh, Noelle, that's not your nest. That's not your nest, baby. That's your nest. That's the duck's nest. So I'm currently letting the ducks collect eggs, and I'm going to see if I can get one of them to sit on eggs. So currently, Noelle, come on, baby. I'm sorry. i got to kick you out. Go on, baby. If you want to sit on those eggs, that's fine, but we need to collect them more first. Oh, speckle laden egg in here. That needs to go. So, so far we've got eight, eight eggs. Nice. Looks like one of them laid this morning. So we've got eight eggs in there, and we're going to try and see if we can get them to sit on them. Are you going to sit on them? No, no. Not interested? Noelle seems to want to sit on them. So Noelle is one of our older hens in the flock. She was actually hatched um, a few days before Christmas, hence the name Noelle. What are you ladies doing in here? The day's nice. You guys gonna get out there and forage? The ducks are having a ball. You're missing out guys. Look at the ducks are having a blast out there. Duck, 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 duck. No. You guys just want to stay in here? Yes, with your fluffy butts. So we're getting close to the goat's due dates, which their earliest expected due date is the middle of June. And it's kind of adorable. Hi, baby. They're starting to develop little udders. Let me see if I can get in there with them and show you guys. Hi, goats. Hi, goats. Let's go ahead and undo this. This is their double lock just to make sure that the goat the gate stays shut. Hi babies! You guys enjoying your hay? Hi Maple. So she's starting to develop a little udder. Look at her little udder. Hi baby. And even even Mocha's starting to develop a little udder. You guys gonna have them babies soon? You kinda got a little udder forming, but you're the biggest of them all. You gonna have the most babies? You gonna have the most babies? Oh, they're just having a smorgasbord right now. Yum. So, I put in some metal railings, well, I kind of like weaved metal in to try and help with the with the hay loss and um, we still lost some hay but I feel like it was a little bit less than normal so I'm hopeful I might add some more wire in maybe vertically, oh, baby. maybe vertically to uh, run up and down and make these openings smaller than so we'll see we'll try it out i'm gonna watch them the second bale since we did that and see how it does saffron what are you doing bud is that your favorite place to be i seriously think that's his favorite place to be it's the closest to the food it's in the tray the food just falls on him and he just eats whoop 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 wee wee careful mass mayhem so I seriously want to take this tray off though. I started to take it off earlier on that side and that came undone. One of the bolts actually snapped. But this side, the bolts, the nut on the underside 
is like it, it's got rust on it and I can't get the socket on it to undo it so I'm gonna have to get Davis out here and we're probably gonna have to sawzall it off somehow I don't know how we're gonna do that but we'll see so I'm gonna be consulting with him and getting this down so they don't have to stand up like this it's much closer to their level and um, they're not sliding around they tend to slide around in the feeder a lot hi pretty girls that's pretty girls Oh, don't be so mean. Oh my goodness, Saffron. He's really not mean to them. It's like, sometimes when food comes around, he gets a little aggressive. He gets grouchy. You're such a grouch, Saffron, when it comes to food. Hi, Mocha. Such a pretty girl. I'm excited to see her baby. Or babies. Hopefully babies. I still think she's probably only going to have one. She's so small. She also could have been the last to get bred. That's also a possibility. So she might be later than June. We'll see. All we can do is wait and watch. I gotta get out here and do their feet. Their feet are overdue to be done. But I just got my hoof snips in. So we'll get them get them done. We're gonna get a, get a pedicure. Pretty girl. What I do for a living, I'm a, if you guys don't know, I'm a, I'm a photographer. And I was thinking about, and not so much thinking, just like I actually really want to do it. I just gotta get the logistics locked down. I want to do a maternity shoot of Annabelle, our Jersey, Lexi, our other Jersey that's pregnant. She would probably be later on though when she gets bigger, but Annabelle, she's got that big old belly. And I want to do a maternity shoot of the goats as well. So tell, leave, tell me in the comments below what you guys think of that idea. If you guys would love to see a goat and jersey maternity shoot, I think that would be so cute. Especially if we got like maybe some tool on them or something like that, like skirts or floral halo or something. Just get them all decorated and uh, maybe get them in the garden. Poor Axel. You guys might recall our bull Axel. Hi, baby. He had. We had gotten him previously dehorned by a friend of ours, but they had just just missed enough of his horns to grow back. And the other was still kind of kind of there, and we wanted them completely gone. So we had a vet come out, and um, he got drugged up. And he was feeling good, and he got his horns removed. So he's currently healing from that. Hi, buddy. You over here chewing the cud? Hi, Axel. You look so handsome without your horns. Hi, buddy. So he is just kind of chilling and relaxing and healing up. I gotta remove these stitches here soon. And then, how oh, baby. I know, I didn't wanna have to do it to you, baby. But you didn't feel any pain. Yes. Yes, baby. I give you chin scratches, make up for it. So here soon, actually, that's looking really good. I'm gonna be removing these stitches and he'll be just back to his normal self. He won't even look like he ever had horns. Handsome boy, huh? You love the chin scratches. Update on Miss Annabelle. Still no baby. We will have this baby, huh? All of us want to know. Still no new signs of labor or imminent labor or anything like that. She's still round as a tick. So, but her udders, she's still got a lot of extra skin on her udders, so she hasn't even started to bag up. So this might be a June calf. I was hoping May, but looks like June it is. But that's okay because the rains are still just only starting and the grass is still coming in, so. That's okay. I give you chin scratches. There you go. Oh, I found a good spot. My pretty girl. Yeah, it's my pretty girl. That is a pretty basket of eggs, if I do say so myself. The ladies are laying in full swing now. Um, the silkies are back to laying after they had finished hatching out eggs last month, so they had a good rest. And so we're now collecting silky eggs again. 
getting ready to get them set up. I've got people wanting silky chicks. And then, um, like I said, we're going to try and see if we can get the ducks to sit on eggs. That would be really cool if we could get some duck hatchlings um, hatched by the mamas. I think they'd have a much higher success rate than, inc than incubators. Um, I mean, it's nature. So we'll try that out. And in the meantime, we're just getting overrun with eggs. It's a good thing to be overrun with food. Food is good. We've got hundreds, if not thousands, of blackberry bushes in the wooded pasture. So we're going to harvest some blackberries. I don't know about you, but I love blackberry crisp, blackberry syrup, blackberry cobbler pie. Oh my goodness. Blackberries on with granola in. Remember we made that blackberry pie flavored oatmeal for breakfast one morning? Yeah. Oh, that was so good. I thought we bought that from the store. I think we're going to have to share that recipe. Maybe, maybe we'll do a video on that. Maybe we'll share that recipe because that was Got, oh, you got one? Got some? That's, a lot, that's a lot of berries on it. Mm. See those little tiny black balls? Mm -hmm. Those Each of those are its own little berry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blackberries are clusters of berries. Yep. Right, I'd say that is a, a pretty successful harvest. Now we have a bunch of blackberries. <laughs> Look at your hair all in your face. Why, it's the wind. I know. So we've got a bunch of wild blackberries growing on the property and then we also have elderberries. And I found a bunch while we were out looking for blackberries, I found a bunch of ripe elderberries and I've been storing these in the freezer, waiting till I have enough to make elderberry syrup. And I think I might finally have enough with this to make elderberry syrup. And then look at all these blackberries. Show them the blackberries, buddy. Yeah, look at those. I'd say it's about half a box. Uh, maybe just shy of half a basket, so can't complain, it's free. 